The National Party is demanding more answers about why the head of KiwiBuild has been away from the job for weeks as a result of an employment dispute. Stephen Barclay was appointed in May to lead the flagship programme, which aims to build 100,000 houses in 10 years. But trouble has hit just months later. The Housing Minister, Phil Twyford, has listed a number of things the dispute is not linked to, but still refuses to discuss what exactly has happened. Here's our political editor, Jane Patterson. No one is talking about exactly what is happening with the head of the KiwiBuild unit, except to say it's an employment dispute unrelated to either the KiwiBuild policy or programme. Phil Twyford told reporters he's been given regular high-level briefings, but won't discuss details. I was first briefed on October the 31st that there were matters that the Chief Executive of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development was looking into. Um, I was told at that point that um, it would be better if I wasn't briefed on any of the details uh, about that and I took that advice and I am holding to that. Mr Twyford says the government's home building programme is ticking along regardless but clearly he would have preferred the employment dispute hadn't happened in the first place. It's certainly an unwelcome distraction and I'm as focused as I can be on ensuring that as a government we're implementing this policy and we're building houses. There have also been problems at the New Zealand Transport Agency, with the resignation of Chief Executive Fergus Gammy following ongoing pressure about the agency's ability to enforce road safety regulations. Nationals leader Simon Bridges says trouble with two chief executives within Mr Twyford's portfolio responsibilities does raise questions. What it shows is behind the scenes in both of these entities, their core infrastructure entities for the government, the level of dysfunction you've got actually. You've got a situation in Kiwi Build where we're seeing every day the shambolic nature of it and that's led to a breakdown in the relationship. You're also seeing the same in NZTA. Look I know that entity incredibly well. Fergus Gammy was a first class chief executive. He says the minister should be more transparent about what's happening with the Kiwi Build chief executive. You find examples littered throughout uh, the recent past where ministers have chosen to speak on some of these things and other times they didn't. So I think that it's all very convenient, frankly too convenient. Mr Twyford did give some detail in Parliament about what the dispute was not related to. Mr Barclay's employment matter has nothing to do with his relationship with me or my office. It has nothing to do with the establishment of the new Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. And it has nothing to do with the merits of the KiwiBuild policy. National's Judith Collins challenged the Minister on his silence. Does he believe that New Zealanders deserve to know why Mr Barclay has been away from the office and whether or not Mr Barclay is being paid? I think New Zealanders deserve a minister that will follow the conventions of the Cabinet Manual and the provisions of the State Sector Act, not wading into an employment dispute. I would have thought the member, who's a former lawyer and a minister, would understand that. Phil Twyford says he doesn't know how long the situation will take to resolve or how much it's costing taxpayers with Stephen Barclay away on leave. From Parliament for Checkpoint, Jane Patterson.